There's a relationship between the way things work and the way things look. And if things are going to look the same as every other car and work the same, well, that makes complete sense. But if you want them to have advantages in how they work, you have to open up your mind and say, well, maybe it means it will have to look differently. And I think that realization really gave the project a lot of momentum. I'm a very strong believer in this idea that there is a hierarchy to what you do that starts with exactly why you're doing what you're doing and then going to how you want to exercise what you've decided you want to do and finally the results, the what that comes out of it. In this particular case, the why of the REDS project originated with Mr. Wang and the other CHTC executives working with us to define the project's goal as leveraging space for our commuters in Chinese megacities. We also brought in outside collaborators, such as my colleagues Swanchi Rosner and longtime chief designer in Japan, Atsuhiko Yamada, to help shape the vision of this small, innovative electric vehicle. Perceptually, we think a car is always a moving object, but it isn't. It's really only moving about less than 10% of its life. And once we embrace the idea that maybe it's the 90% of the time they're not moving, that could be the real added value we give this car, well, that changed our minds completely on where we wanted to start from. When I look at this car, I'm not seeing just a shape that I can say was defined by the wind or I can just say was defined exactly by the space within inside. It has to do with the character of the car. It's a character that's fun. It, it shows carness in its most original form. And that spirit of seeing these layers. Okay, first I see a welcome mat. Wow, spilling out from under the door. And then a little kid's view of a car. How cute is that? And then there's the inside, this enormous space where I can live my life in. That's what I really like about this car. Every detail in this car has meaning. In every part of the car, there's a why behind it. In addition to our Chinese partners at CHTC, we had designers from Germany, designers from Japan, from America, from France, and of course from Italy. And that really makes things special. The features, which are all there for a reason, yeah. and they all give an advantage to the customer, also drive a design language which is not static. It's a whole new one, and it's a language which is interactive. We started the design process with very, very simple models, just physical things to be inside of. This car has a great list of innovations, starting with the idea of leveraging space, and including onboard Wi-Fi with advanced driver assistance systems like automatic braking, parking assistance. And it's also on track to offer cordless induction-based charging at launch. In the 10% of the time the car is actually driving, we've got the four seats facing forward. But in the 90% of the time the car is not moving, we've got the ability to flip around the driver's seat, create a face-to-face -face environment. And best of all, that space can be customized. It gives the drivers and the passengers each their own comfortable personal space. We were able to fit four adults, comfortably and safely. Our demographics were pretty specific right from the beginning with young people who just need a place to be with their friends, on their own, in a car that they have fun with. And at the same time, their mom, you know, the, the, the woman who might be the second car in the family. She has to deal with all the problems and space necessities that go with having children. And then on top of that, there are these, you know, people who need this as a business tool. Entrepreneurs, people who are starting their own businesses, who need a place to use this like an office. So these three types of personalities are the ones that we really wanted to appreciate this car. The decision to go with a front-leaning windshield and a rear-leaning A-pillar, that is a pretty radical one for a car designer. But it opened up a gap, a gap that allowed us to get a much more efficient airflow around the car, and that, this front-leaning windshield, plus the vertical size of the car, mean that it's in its own shadow, and that keeps it much cooler. We've probably got one of the biggest roof spaces around. I mean, we have a bigger roof than the i3 has, and the i3 is more than a meter bigger than we are. And this roof means we can put all kinds of solar panels on it. And the solar panels are important because they drive the fans for the clean air and not take away from the battery range. We want the doors to be quick and simple. And that's what the Cartesian doors are. It gives us a lot of advantages to have a sliding door that moved out totally sideways with its tracks because it pulled out with it a covering over the door opening. I mean, that extra width keeps the rain off of you while you're moving from a wet environment to a dry environment. No car offers that. So we said, okay, a 17-inch screen, that should be a really good size. But to actually interact with it, we put a second screen closer to you. We put a mask on it. This is the first time anybody's ever done that. Then you've got a touch screen that works like a touch screen, but at the same time, you don't have to keep looking at it while you're driving. We emphasized to our client, Mr. Wang, that we've got the performance of a large four-seater car. It's got a great range. 
And at the same time, it's got this fabulous pickup and acceleration because we wanted that through this motor in the back and the extra traction of these big wide tires. It's super stable because the batteries are in the low part of the car. This is a small car, but it's a really safe car. You know, it begins with the fact that the chassis is made for these batteries, so we've got a huge crash structure just for that. And then we move the people in from the outside of the car. And all of that adds up to an environment which gives you many, many more chances to be safe. We want reds to be special to everybody, particularly a kind of a personal specialty. Are there any colors that pop out that you say you would have really liked to have? Maybe this one. I love the dark one with, with the cyan interior. That means the colors have to be changeable. We have to use these effects that we have of this welcoming mat. We want to use the interior to be adaptable to the people so that what you're showing is you yourself through this car. So the outside, how the, the car looks like can be really elegant. And then you open the door and you have this blue, which is really fun and contrasting. I love it. The use of the color ring here, where the interior spilled out into the inside of the car. And that should be the keyword. The keyword should be, it should be great fun. It's very, very rare that you have an opportunity to have the space to experiment and try out things until you really find the solutions that work. It was a way to challenge actual car design. This is the first experience where a car is truly being designed from the inside out. And that was one of the great advantages of not only this type of client, but also here, an environment that inspires everybody and lets you do your thing. Probably something we could never have done in a normal car studio. You can personalize the interior to match your needs, and you can customize the exterior to reflect your style. This is truly a car you can make your own.